We are entering the season of cracked lips as well as the cracked corners of your mouth. So if you find that you keep getting these cracks in the corners of your mouth that don't seem to heal, you may have a condition called angular colitis. Now, I'm not going to go into too much with that, but just here are some tips to keep them at bay and to make them heal faster or to help them heal faster. So first, I just want to clarify this condition is more common in the winter time because more people lick their lips because their lips are dry. And in our saliva, we have we can have yeast and bacteria, and so when that collects in the corners of your mouth, you're more likely to get that. The other thing is, it's more common that I found um, when I used to treat clients in the treatment room, is because from October until January, a lot of people eat more sugar than normal, and sugar consumption can increase the yeast and the bacteria levels in our saliva. So with the combination of those two things, it is more common. Now, I do want to say that it is in the corners of your lips, okay? If, if it could be syphilis and it even can be herpes, but I'm more uh, focusing on the angular colitis, the actual cracks in the lips usually caused by yeast, which is the yeast is candida albicans, and that's usually in our gut, our mouth, and in our genitals, um, as well as a bacteria, which is the Staphylococcus aureus. And we, we can have staph, the bacteria Staphylococcus on our skin, um, in, and it's in our gut, and so it can be caused by one or the other. The quickest way to heal that and dry it up so that the cracks heal and they don't reopen is if it is actually caused by, which 80% of it is caused by one or both of the bacteria and or yeast, um, go to the doctor and get an antifungal or an, and or antibacteria and that will heal it very quickly. Because the tips that I'm about to give to you to help prevent it that is not going to actually heal it. It only helps prevent it um, from returning or from you from getting it. So do that and it's actually in a matter of days. So I had a client and she kept using hydroquinone. So she had the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, the scarring after her angular colitis had healed. And you're not supposed to use hydroquinone anywhere near the mucosa, mucosa of the eyes, the nose, the lips, the genital areas. So she tried everything from baking soda. She looked on YouTube and trying to, to heal it. And I told her, just go to the doctor and get it healed. So she did, and literally within a matter of three to four days, they pretty much were drying up and just kind of peeling off. So I would suggest that. Now, the next tips I'm going to share with you are things that can help you prevent uh, you from getting this. So here are three tips to help you prevent from getting angular colitis. So the first one is, is this is the season where it's more common because a lot more people will be eating way more sugar and or yeast. And it's not just about the desserts. It could also be wine and beer. So reduce or try to reduce the amount of party foods and party drinks that you are consuming. Tip number two is this may be an indication that you have a deficiency or your diet is deficient in vitamin B9 or folate. So make sure you're including more foods that are richer in vitamin B, such as chicken, eggs, dairy, legumes, leafy greens, organ meats, and salmon. And tip well, before I do tip number three, if you're finding this information helpful, then please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed and you love information in regards to skincare, proper skincare protocols, skin conditions, and diet, uh, what to eat that helps our skin, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that and that bell. Okay, so tip number three. Tip number three is basically if you are using retainers, dentures, um, 
night guard, anything that you have to stick in your mouth regularly and it sits in there, that is a breeding ground for bacteria and yeast. And so if you are not cleaning this on a regular basis and it has to slip through the corners of your mouth. So if you put that in and then you go to sleep, you're not rinsing that off. That is one way that where yeast and bacteria can collect in the corners of your mouth and you can end up getting angular colitis. So make sure that you're sanitizing these regularly if you're using this on a regular basis. And remember to check out this video right here for anti-aging for lips because remember, makeup is an art, here's the science.